Hi everybody, it's Jamie from Play to Learn Preschool. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. I hope you guys survived the day after Halloween, which I think should be called National Coffee Day. Anyway, um, I'm here today to share some ideas with you for making your own activities and toys for the light table. I um, have this beautiful two by two foot, it's 24 by 24 inch, a standalone light table from Whitney Brothers. We bought it, I think about two years ago, and it's been one of the best investments in our classroom. It's sitting here in our science and discovery area, and we have found so many awesome things to do with it. Um, it really feels like taking a plain learning center to the next level when we put it here on the light table. The coloring is doing a weird thing, I think because of the light, I turned it off, but hopefully it won't look too crazy for you guys. Hi everybody. Um, if you don't have a light table like this, there are lots of light panels and do-it-yourself light activities that you can find if you look on Pinterest or look online. Um, in the olden days, I guess you could say, you know, we used to use an overhead projector, right? And that would like project that light and you could play on it. Um, and so this sort of takes that, you know, that idea to the next level. This one, I'm, uh, Nikki's asking, is it expensive? This was about $250. Um, and so it was an investment, you know, like all of the furniture in our classroom is an investment, but I feel like we're getting our money's worth from it. The toys, however, can be really expensive. They sell specific, you know, learning resources does, and I think Trend, lots of the teaching um, companies sell manipulatives and supplies that are specific to the light table. Here's an example, and I do have a few of them. See, look at that weird color. I don't know why it's doing that. Hopefully it's not too obnoxious. Um, so I bought these. They are um, pattern blocks, but they're specifically for the light table. So it's a set of pattern blocks, just like you would have wooden or plastic pattern blocks, um, but they're all transparent or translucent for the light table. So you can spend a ton of money on toys and activities for the light table, but you do not have to. So what I'm gonna do is share with you um, some of our hacks, some of the things that we do uh, to make light table toys and activities on the cheap. So the first thing that I'm gonna say is I look for clear containers everywhere. Some of my favorite places to find clear containers are the dollar store, of course, the craft store, because they have a lot of times they'll have clear things. And it's also um, pretty easy to find clear containers at the grocery store even, or at Target or at Walmart. They sell a lot of clear containers. The party store carries clear containers, um, you know, in different, I don't know, sections of the party store. So I buy containers, I might be of a bit of a container hoarder. So these tiny little things, they're little plastic cups. You could even save like the clear cups that the fruit comes in. Um, but these have little lids and they're perfect for the light table, for building, you know, for making blocks or for talking about capacity on the light table. They um, sell these also at the dollar store. I think they're supposed to be for pills. They might be in the medicine aisle and the lids are tiny. They're perfect for capacity or for filling up with little pony beads at the light table. They even sell these square ones at the dollar store. So I buy, I have this whole container, a container of containers, how meta, um, of clear containers. You can also get uh, like trays. So the light table toys and manipulatives look really nice when you display them on a clear tray on the light table. And anything clear really works perfectly, or anything with a tint. This was from the dollar store. It was in like their party aisle, just a blue bowl. I love to put it on my light table with whatever we're doing um, because the light shines really nicely through it. They sell these little clear, I think they're called crystal bowls at the Dollar Tree, three for a dollar. And a lot of times we'll put these out. Um, you might cut a piece of construction paper for the bottom if they're doing sorting so that um, they can sort and use the light table like that. So, um, oh, Kristen, you're so sweet. Thank you, I just got it cut, thanks. <laughs> um, if you have clear ice cube trays, they look great on the, on the light table. I have an eye, I just, every time I'm shopping for my family or for anything, you know, if I see something that I know will show light really nicely through it, I'm like, oh, that'd be perfect. I can think of something to use on the light table. 
Um, but what I'm gonna show you are some other things that you might be able to find or make uh, that make really nice light table toys. Thank you. So the first is what I think is pretty easy, but, and it's gonna be backwards because I'm on the selfie cam, but if you buy transparency film like you used to use for an overhead projector, and for a long time I had leftover transparency film, I recently had to buy more. Um, but you can get three different kinds. There's kinds that are just right on transparency papers, there's inkjet kinds, and laser printer kinds. I think this was $8. There's, I don't know what, 50 sheets of transparency paper. And so any activity that I might plan to do at my literacy table, at my math table, um, anything you can run through the printer, print off of, um, you know, off of TPT or make your own resources could be put on transparency paper and turned on the light table. So I don't know if you joined us on Monday when we gave you a tour, but I'm gonna flip this on so you can see, um, and then the light's gonna be all weird, I'll look like a ghost. Um, so you can see what we were doing here on the light table. Hold on one second. See how look like Spook spooky, Jamie. <laughs> so what we did was print um, pictures. Can you see these? Let's see where of different foods and the kids are sorting them. So I literally just printed a food sort and the kids are sorting them right here on the light table. Let me tip it down so you can kind of see a little bit better. So they, they're sorting foods that are really healthy, somewhat healthy, and then down here it says not healthy at all. So we might show them broccoli and then they put the broccoli on the really healthy um, salad and then they just put it here on the really healthy and I know the words are backwards. Um, but that's it, so anything you can print to make, you know, for a sort that you would normally do during circle time or that you would normally do at a center, you could also print on transparency paper and put it on your light table. That's the simplest hack. Another good idea, here's an example of just plain transparency paper. And I know it's back, oh, I could turn it this way and then it doesn't look backwards for you. And we just wrote letters on here and give the kids plastic beads or table scatter from the craft store and they just put it on top of the letters to make you know the letters here on the light table so table scatter works any kind of little plastic clear pieces glass beads you know if you get a nice size glass bead from the craft store and they can make letters and you can see these are not fancy I just wrote with a sharpie on a transparency paper if you're looking for some kind of like a colored transparency, you know they sell these in the office supply store. They're supposed to be for, um, you know it's like a three ring binder in the, you know, the separator pages and they come in tons of different colors and they're all transparent. So they come in, I mean the whole rainbow of colors, right? And so you could cut shapes out of this to do, um, to do color theory, so if, you know, I turn the light on and you put blue and yellow together, this is gonna shine through and show green. You could do color sorting with pages like this. Recently, and if you've been watching a lot of videos, you've already seen this, but we took some of those transparent pages and cut rectangles out of them and uh, did red, I'm sorry, not red, yellow, orange, green, and these are all those binder you know, separator things, and put out a bowl of these citrus ice cubes. So they sell these at Bed Bath & Beyond, and at the dollar store, and probably at the party store, Five Below, or any place else like that. And you're supposed to freeze them, right? And then put them in your drink, and then they make your drink so it's not, it doesn't get too watered down. But I don't do that. I'm a teacher. So when I'm in those aisles and I see it, I'm like, oh, that would be perfect on the light table, right? They also sell them in you know, cubes, like ice cubes, and they make really nice building blocks for the light table, and the light shines through them. It's really pretty. So this was just a color sorting activity that we did at the very first, I don't know, it was the first or second week of school. I think the first week we did the pom-poms, but the second week we did these. So we just made the sorting mats. Look, there goes the color thing again. I don't know why it does that. So we just make these color sorting mats out of the file folder what you call them what do you call those things in the binder you know when the binder page separators or whatever but this is a really good thing if you can find these especially back to school time they're usually on sale here are a couple more I think I have four more of my favorite manipulatives um, that probably weren't intended for the light table so they're less expensive right I don't know why they mark up light table toys um, that you can use on the light table these are bingo chips 
and we showed these on those Velcro number mats a couple of weeks ago, but bingo chips make really nice counters or really nice manipulatives for the light table. They come in lots of transparent colors and they show beautifully. They're good for fine motor practice. Here's another one. This is Valentine table scatter. And I think, maybe it's not table scatter, maybe these are supposed to be vase fillers, but I have red, sorry, pink and clear uh, hearts. They're great for patterning. They're great for one-to-one -one matching in an ice cube tray. You know, if you put these out, um, I'd probably pick the red ice cube tray because I'm weird like that. And then they're just matching, you know, one-to-one -one in the ice cube tray. But that's a really good activity for our younger students. Um, sorting by color. You could put big hearts out. I actually think we do have them. They're in the bottom. Oh, look at this. We have little doilies and they're not transparent, but because they've got such nice holes in them, they shine through really pretty. And so we just wrote numbers on these heart doilies. So around Valentine's Day, this is the center. You know, we talk about how we try to set up as fast as possible. <laughs> um, when we're getting our center set up on Friday afternoons. This one takes like 30 seconds, right? We just take off, take down what we have, put a bowl. I'd probably choose one of these like uh, nice clear bowls full of these hearts like this. And then we just set out the doilies with the numbers. And then the kids, when they're here, I don't know if you can see that, you know, they'll just come over and count the numbers on the heart. We did the same thing with the spider webs a couple of weeks ago if you were watching that. So um, we really try to make our own centers that are quick and easy for the teacher, but engage the students for a nice long time, are visually attractive, and then the students will want to go there. I have two more for you. At the party store, so if you have a Party City or Party America or whatever they're called, Party Depot, they sell a lot of fun colors, I think they're called like luau colors. They have little shot glasses, which um, on November 1st you might use for shot glass, but every other day of the year you might use as a block or as a container for the students to, um, you know, uh, explore capacity or, um, you know, fill it up with little beads. And these are swizzle sticks. I think they're supposed to be to stir up a drink, but they come in all fun uh, patterns and colors. And these are so much fun for the students to try to build shapes, letters, to make patterns. They're great for art on the light table because the light shows through them so, um, you know, so brilliantly. And some of them are flat like this one, and some of them roll around on the light table. And so they're just really visually interesting. They keep the kids' attention, um, and they can do some really amazing and creative things with them. So the luau <laughs> swizzle sticks, Shot glasses, I think they've got some like tubes and they might even have bowls and cups, anything like that. They're pretty inexpensive to purchase and um, you know, they look great on the light table. And then of course the last idea is plain old pony beads. So at the craft store, um, you know, they sell the little beads and we love to use these for tracing lines, for tracing letters. You could put a bowl of these transparent pony beads at your light table with pipe cleaners and have the kids make Christmas ornaments or bracelets. Um, it's great for fine motor, color identification, patterns, sorting, um, counting. So anything that I know, Rebecca, it, it, doesn't it feel like today is like Nash, yeah, National Coffee Day or it should be <laughs> um, the weekend already? I agree, November 1st is tough. I texted Gemma this morning, is it really only Wednesday morning? And she texted back, yes, we can do this. I'm like, I'm glad you're feeling it because I'm exhausted, longest week ever. Anyway, all of these things that I'm showing you are really low cost. I mean, I'm buying them on the cheap, at the, at the dollar store or the craft store. Um, recycled materials, you know, from your kids if they have a school supply list or, you know, check with your, you know, your office if you have somebody in your family who works in an office to see if they're getting rid of any, you know, office materials that are transparent. Because I make a lot of the things that we use here and um, 
I'm always on the hunt and on the search for things that'll look really amazing with light shining through them. So clear, I didn't pull those out, but clear water beads look really great in a bag or in a water bottle here on the light table because the light shines through really nicely. So um, be creative and I would love to hear your ideas for what works on your light table. Um, we're always looking for new ideas, so if you have some to share with us, please leave them in the comments. I um, have been trying to read them, but it's a little hard on my own to read the comments and talk, so I will log back on and answer any questions that you have, and Gem and I will be back on tomorrow. We hope you can join us. Thanks, you guys. I know the transparency paper, we go through a lot of it. And I think when I order it, you know, from Office Depot, they're like, what are you still using transparency paper for? You should get a computer. And I'm like, oh no, it's something different. <laughs> oh, clear storage containers and lights. That makes a nice little light table if you don't have, you know, um, a full light table. Thank you guys. All right, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon playing and learning with your kids. And I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.